Since I come home and my heart has been missed And I miss your tender head and the way you like to say Won't you come on over? You a pair of clothes, now you come fishing. You don't know what's we new. You ain't from here, you ain't from here. They get dumb here, we are fun here. Put a tongue here, truck on lungs here. Oh, it's so fear, control that most fears. Let's get one thing clear. That's just air to the kid. Don't, don't mind spraying if you get close. What you mean, bro? They say these streets we know ain't safe to walk. Get the chopper, they execute and say that it's your fault. Get Situations get fucked up, turned around sooner or later. Or never mind, no Hindu, Hindu time hath on you. you It's called Island Trip, man. So who all who all been to the islands? Who from the islands? Who's been to the islands out here? Uh, we got a few who know about the islands. At least know about them. <laughs> all right. Who see the islands on TV? <laughs> so let's go. P R did I hear the J A? Head on back to D R. Slot next door to Hey K. Got a hit in Tiga. D I and the Minute Girl. Head down to Barbados. Oh, 
The do-it-yourself types, the ones that are doing well, what are the thing? What are what are a couple of things you see them doing to do well? Now, what what are a couple of things that maybe anybody in here could also be doing? Yeah, I feel like for the most part, the first layer that we see is getting PR. You know, having like a PR professional. Obviously, if you are going to be hiring somebody for PR, then you have to make sure that you either have a healthy album cycle that's coming out, or maybe you're gonna be touring, or you know, maybe have a, a small tour, because like, obviously that person's gonna need content, obviously to share, right? Um, so PR tends to be kind of like the first layer. Um, I feel like later on, as you're getting more and more gigs, then it makes sense to then maybe bring, out, bring in a manager, right? Because like, you need something to manage, right? Uh, when it gets to a certain point that maybe you're feeling overwhelmed or you can't really handle all the logistics Then we see a lot of people with managers and I feel like once We see a lot of bands and a lot of artists in general that they're just coasting, you know And it's really just a manager and for the most part We love working with artists like that because like you, they already in a, in a way have a team, you know already set up But but yeah, I would say those are the two main things that like the first things and as you kind of start growing perhaps um an agent, you know, after you are, you know, have enough booking, you know, enough booking, then that kind of starts expanding. But PR and management. What are what are ways that bands can market themselves outside of digital marketing that are effective? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Okay. I would say obviously like things like this, you know, obviously participating in your local market and events, you know, so you can get to meet and collaborate with other artists. Um, Obviously, being, I feel like being humble goes a long way as well, you know, and being open. Sometimes it's, you know, some people are not as comfortable in meeting new people, but I think like putting yourself out there um, in events like this, like Creative Connections, I know you went there too. Um, and then obviously there's still kind of like an advantage, you know, to having, being in a digital age, you know, so Facebook groups, you know, at times there are Facebook groups that are like, specific to a genre of music so engaging with those communities reddit as well reddit has a really really like strong communities in there that you know you, you just have to be respectful in terms of how you enter those conversations so it doesn't seem spam like you're spamming people like genuinely want to engage in a conversation with people and then to for the musicians that are just like nope i don't do marketing i don't do any of that stuff my mu my music is good enough I can, I, can, I can make it just off my music alone. How, how likely do you think that person is to really do that thing? I mean, Compared to the one that, that is gonna be the same level of talent, same level of quality, but is going to also take an interest in their marketing. Well, I, you know, marketing obviously is an, it's, it's an important part. There's also too, you know, like, there's cases in the we see clients that they have such a hardcore fan base that sometimes they don't have to do marketing, you know? And we, we've, ha we've seen those cases, but the projects have to be extremely strong, you know, extremely strong, you know, that, that they just put things out, you know, and, and it catches like wildfire. Um, but, but what I would say, you know, in terms of marketing is that I feel like at times artists might release, you know, might release a project and then they feel disappointed because they're not getting streams or because they're not making money for their music. So, that's essentially what happens that it's like if you don't have a plan you know like in place then then all this effort that it took you know all those months of going to the studio and all the money that was spent you know in the recording then unfortunately you don't see too much of a return if you don't have a plan in place and honestly too i know sometimes it, it might seem intimidating you know marketing plan but a marketing plan is essentially you having a certain amount of goals, right? You have certain goals. This is how I like to explain it. You have these goals and it's like, okay, how do you get there? And just the next one is called SIU. It's called Step It Up. Pay attention to the words, because it's music with a mission. Let's go. Step it up. Step it up. Uh, 
Ethio South Music, E-T-H-I-O South Music. 